If you've seen the new dynamic text feature in Photoshop, which is lovely, but you thought, ah oh, man, I wish this was an Illustrator. Well, I've gone and added it myself as a script and it brings this awesome word stacking feature straight into Illustrator. But with one extra perk that you can't get in Photoshop. So in this video, we're gonna look at how it works, how to install this beauty permanently, and also how this version gives us a bit more flexibility. So we have a collection of words here. Hello, my name is Popinda, and you can see these are all individual text objects and we can move them around. Let's, uh, let's put them back. First of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select everything, go to file and down to scripts. And you can see we have a few defaults here, mostly useless. So we're gonna click other script. Now we need to navigate to the dynamic text JSX file. And don't worry, I'll link this in the description. Select this, open it up, and here you can punch in your width. So let's just go for 200 pixels now, but you can of course use other units as well. And then we end up with something like this, which isn't ideal. So we have a very important next step, and that is we need to click on one of the words. Doesn't matter which one you click, you can see it becomes selected. And then we have to go all the way down to the align panel. And we need to look for this option here, vertical distribute space. Click this once and you can see everything becomes spaced zero millimeters apart. And we can adjust the value here and then click the icon again to update it and it will increase the spacing. So we can adjust the spacing very quickly just using this option. We can also hold down command or control and click to adjust it in smaller increments. So let's go really, really small. And you can see the spacing is now nice and tight. And in Photoshop with this feature, currently you can't adjust the spacing between the words, whereas here we retain full flexibility. So if you did want to move that up or make minor changes, that is still an option. And we can group this together and resize it as well. Now, of course, going to file and scripts is very manual. So we want to install this permanently. So on macOS, we need to go to our applications folder and on Windows, well, don't worry, I'll put the links to both macOS and Windows in the video description. But essentially you want to look for the application folder, go to presets, click on whatever you have here. And you can see we've got brushes, graphic styles, and all sorts of other fun things as well. So we can add more presets there, but we're gonna be looking for scripts. And there we go, we have the three useless defaults. So what we need to do now is grab the dynamic text.jsx file. And we need to copy this, go back to the folder, and then you guessed it, we're gonna paste it inside here. And you may have to enter a password. So let's just go ahead and do that. And there we go. Now to activate this and have it appear in the menu, we do need to quit Illustrator and restart it. So let's go ahead and do that now and boop it back up again, boopity boop. Right, let's select our text again, go up to file and hopefully it should appear in the menu. Yeah, there we go. Let's give it a click. And we could enter a different value. Let's go for a hundred millimeters, why not? And there we go. So just to recap, we have to click one word in particular, doesn't matter which one, go to the align panel, set the spacing and then click on this icon here. And to adjust the spacing, just adjust the value and click the icon to update it. And if you enjoyed this video, well, that's great. There's another one on screen that you should probably click on because YouTube recommended it. So uh, yeah, give it a click and I'll see you in a sec.